Right, we have a reservation. Thank you. Thanks a lot, man. Get out and check this one out. Here's our tent site area back here. We have a pretty big area here we can hang out. Pretty cool place. In our last video, we went out to eat with uh, Debbie and John, and it was awesome. And because they were so late and deliberate, they gave us a, a second plate of one of our entrees. So we put it in the refrigerator and Lynn has heated it up in there on the induction cooktop. We're gonna have a really good warmed up Chinese dinner for lunch. Yum, yum. <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. It's a pretty good leftover lunch in it, sweetheart. Good leftovers. Amazing. I wouldn't know. We'll walk out of the beach. The good thing about this beach is Maggie gets to walk out with us. <laughs> Figuring out how to get to the dog beach. I think we're going to make it now. was fun wasn't it Maggie are you tired take a nap later you... <laughs> so riddle me this what the crap's going on with diesel prices we well, yeah, diesel uh, fuel is getting to be pretty expensive we're having a conversation as to what we're gonna do and you know, kind of worried about that, but both of us kind of came to the conclusion that we can't worry about that until we get the family farm back. Till then, we're going to griddle up some tacos, chicken tacos. Should be good, unless you're the chicken. California raised chicken. Want to know a quick tip for uh, cutting into this if you don't have your knife with you? Well, you can take your spatula, heat it up. And it'll just Wow, well, these look almost too good to put on tacos. Nah. The last part of good street tacos would be heating up the tortillas so that they're good and pliable and okay. How are you gonna build yours? Put a little chicken on the bottom of this. Don't need to use that fork I put in there. Nope. <laughs> oh, was I supposed to do that? I don't care. It's just me and you. That's right. I'm not running the griddle me this restaurant. Okay. Hey. And then we bought this um, mango seasoning today with cilantro and onions and mango and peppers. Uh, peppers and, and onions and it's just awesome. Those of you that know me won't believe this, but I'm going to put a little bit of uh, guacamole on here. 
All right, and then where's that seasoning? You gonna put any cheese on it? I'm not. You're not? Okay. And I'm gonna dab a little bit of the Mexican taco truck seasoning over top of that. Look how good that looks, guys. That's like a mm. man. Who doesn't like tacos? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> that mango salsa we bought today at Pavilions, that is the stuff right there. It is really good. It's really, really good. It's juicy. It adds so much to the tacos. So here's how Lynn built, built hers. She put uh, chips on top and everything else, but she did put a little cheese on instead. But it's really, really good. I got to build another one. Whoo, the wind she did blow last night. Man alive. I mean, we had some major wind. The van was rocking all night long. It's really hard to sleep in the van when it's rocking like that too. So neither one of us got a good night's sleep. Look over here. Magdalene came out and found squirrels out here. Chased them under that rock and now she thinks they're over there under that bush. She's about as happy as she can be. We're going to take her for her walk. And then we planned a, uh, an excursion today to go get some local seafood and to go to another state park that MASH was filmed at, which is cool for me. I love the, the show MASH. Full on hunt load this morning. So here at Leo Carrillo Beach State Park, they have a really cool camp store. Look at this. Let's go see what's in this. Hats. Keep the kiddos happy, make popcorn, everything you could think of that you might want to have at a camp store like this. At this trip, we've gotten in the habit of buying a sticker just about everywhere we go. I don't know what we're going to do with all these daggum stickers. They're actually going on a place in the van on the back of that little table. Which means if we sell the van, all our sticker's going to be gone. No good way to do that, I don't guess. Peggy is still in hunt mode, but she's in the, I'm hunting slow squirrels now mode. She's chased so many that she's just chasing the ones now that are really close by and look like they may be tired just like she is. Hey Maggie, is that one? Where is it? No, that's not one. I don't know. It might be a slow one. <laughs> it's a shadow. Oh man, mama, that was embarrassing. So I dropped Lynn off at the Malibu Fish and Seafood Company. She's going to order lunch. And I'm going to find a place to park out here beside of uh, the ocean, beside of the beach. And then, well, then we'll, uh, in fact, I'm going to do it here. I'm going to cut through here, go back and find a place to park close to the beach. And then she'll get then lunch, bring it back over. We won't have to leave Maggie, and it'll work out perfectly. And if they'd had diesel here, this would have been a perfect uh, little stop for us, too. But on the Pacific Coast Highway, there's no U-turns allowed, so you have to be tricky about turning around. I say that like I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but I do know enough that it's a really dangerous thing to do. So uh, I'm trying my best to legally cheat. Is that right? Look, I legally cheated. It says I can turn left. Now I just have to find a place that is close enough to her. It's also on the side of uh, the beach area here. We'll set the uh, the table out. It'll be Bob's your uncle. We'll be uh, eating lunch by the ocean. This might be hard to beat right here. Let me put the uh, mirrors in. This may be hard to beat. That is the ocean. That's the beach. And Maggie can sit outside with us too on a short leash. So this will work and we will uh, make this our lunch spot. Okay, this is a little noisy, but it beats. 
not enough to beat anything. It's really noisy. But uh, we are right across from the restaurant, and we are right on the beach to eat. So. Awesome! Awesome. Monkey in the middle. <laughs> Cream, non fat milk, sugar, banana, molasses, vanilla, lunch and dinner. Uh, what's for lunch, mama? I got, got us some clown chowder that we can split if you want. To. Okay. And awesome. We got some potato salad because I know you love potato salad. This is the shrimp. Awesome. So I know you wanted shrimp, so I thought we could split the shrimp. Split a shrimp. And then split the fish and chips. The fish and chips. Wow, is that fish? Whoa, that's too much for that, man. A lot. I'll eat one of the fish and you can eat some. Okay, that sounds good. Huge, huge, huge shrimp. Really good french fries. Man. Then came walking back from taking a, a photo of us here and just said, I've got to have a bite of that ice cream sandwich. So she's going to open it up. We're going to taste of that thing. It looks good. We'll have to cut it with a knife. It's hard. Too easy. I'm not even going to jump on that one. That's what she said. Does the skin look red and swollen? That's what she said. <laughs> Monkey in the middle. That might be better than the fish and the shrimp that we got from them. And the shrimp were as big as your hand. They were awesome. But gosh, I see you. Hey, 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 come back here. She seems to be enjoying it. <laughs> we were just talking. We wonder what Maggie thinks about this. Like, frig, I just pull up on the side of the road by a beach and eat lunch. I could do better than this by myself, but I don't guess she thinks that though. She she's pretty happy with her mom and dad and the life that we have. And uh, it is strange just to be riding down the road and say, "Let's get some lunch and let's just pull off the side of the beach and park there and eat." And, oh yeah, let's go someplace else. I don't know. You ready to go see where Hawkeye did his work? Well, put a check mark in, something you can do in this van, it's awesome like yeah, that. That's right. Now we're gonna head over to, uh, well, we'll show you. I've gotta get out of here. I see that room, what's the name of it? <laughs> I do. We're gonna head over to Malibu Creek State Park. We're out on this hike today and uh, looks like we're going to be going 4.6 to 5 miles. Knowing us, once we get lost, it may be more than that. But uh, the goal is to find some of the uh, set uh, artifacts from the uh, TV show MASH, the 4077. Cool thing to do here. Mm -hmm.
down in the dirt. Mm -hmm. Been real bad. Whoa, I don't know if my balance is good enough to do that. <laughs> and? What are you going to do? I don't know. Looks like the way he's over there. Let's see, is there anything over here you can... So to get to the set of MASH 4077, we've got to cross this little creek, which is a little bit more than a little creek. It looks like it may be four or five feet deep where we have to cross. And, you know, if we were young whippersnappers, our balance would be perfect for this. And I don't know about this. We're gonna walk around and see if we can find a better, an easier spot to cross on. We dammed this up. I think it's one of those damned if you do and damned if you don't kind of things. Frogs are laughing at us. Looks like people have gone down through here to get across. Let's see how easy that would be, dear. Oh, that's a little easier. That may be doable for two old people. What do you think? Hold on to that stick in the middle and make it over. Way to go. You're doing a whole lot better than I did. Yay! Uh -huh. <laughs> Ta da! 0.6 miles? I don't know. Yeah. By the way, if you do any hiking like this and you don't already have the app All Trails downloaded and have the maps downloaded before you go, well, you're missing out. We pay for the premium version, which allows us to download the trails so that when we don't have a cell phone signal, we can still see the trail like we can right now. And that's telling us we're right on the trail and we're doing the right thing. It would be really easy if you didn't have that out here to get lost. So, yeah, especially for us, we're always, we hardly ever even make it to the beginning of a trail, let alone finish it. So without all trails, we, we wouldn't stand a chance. But we're not affiliated with them, and we don't get anything from you doing it. But we'd like to see you go use this app if you do any hiking off trails like this because you stand a better chance of getting back to your vehicle or your RV if you're using something that tracks your, uh, your progress and helps you get stay on track. Telling Lynn that you can tell the people that walk by on the trails that don't live in a van because they smell all friggin' clean, smell like soap, and smell like they've had a bath probably this morning. I pity them walking by me. That's just all I got to say about that. And there goes some more. They smelled me coming and moved out of the way. Yeah, they got out of the trail. I've got a manly odor, don't I, honey? <laughs> yeah, I got my odor. I don't guess I smell too bad. We've been using those Lume wipes and Lume uh, deodorant. It's supposed to naturally give you 72 hours of odor control. It's good for me because I figure if I put that on two, epi two uh, times and then the next day take a shower, I'm good for another week. Saving water, that's my that's what they want you to do in, in uh, California. Save water. 
lizard right in the middle of the trail. Hope he don't come back this way. He's not moving. No, oh, dude. Go ahead. Get out of the way, dude. Looks like we've made it to the set location. I'll tell you what, this brings back a uh, lot of really sweet memories of watching that TV show for me. It was uh, filmed right during my high school years and ended uh, after my college years. So it was one of those things that you kind of watch and you just uh, takes you back. And I don't know how many times we've watched it reruns since then, but I'm getting the feeling we're going to queue it back up and watch reruns again after this. This would make a great overlanding rig right here. Good, good. We all live on time we borrow, time our children to us lend here today but gone tomorrow like a spark fly in the wind we all look up to our fathers all our lives if all is right and we are quality h2o gem <laughs> well that was a six mile stroll down memory lane <laughs> well not quite six miles yet we have looks like it's gonna be like seven miles for us from where we parked it we're right at three and a half miles right now to get to where we are so i'm not good with math but three and a half times two is a lot the drums of war are getting the bathroom in here let's find you a spot go in here and find you a spot the signs are there right in front of us for so long buried in the snow yes here we are shining diamonds burning bridges as we go Come to your town, gonna find your corner. 